In order to give this high performance to your plantation through organic farming, we need to do three layer interaction with them. First of all, we need to increase the macro organisms in the soil. They assist in uh, level one of your um, nutrient uptake. So one of the things in organic farms is, is centipedes. They are the macro organisms which act upon the organic manual that we have put in. The um, organic content is eaten up by these um, centipedes and millipedes, earthworms, and they digest it and uh, they poop the material which is then available for mi microorganisms to be acted upon and made more bioavailable for uh, the plant roots. With all these guys, um, an organic farm can perform much better than a chemical farm. The second level is your um, organic manures that we can provide. So when we use manures, we need to make sure that that comes from organic source, which means natural source. It, is, it doesn't come from mining or, um, uh, or synthetic uh, materials from factories. So make sure it comes from organic source. So we need to have the organic manures, which um, has the macro and micronutrients. So what we have here is a Varanasi Agro Mix, uh, a product that we developed in the last 20, 25 years. Um, it's a mixture of different organically, naturally um, available um, organic materials. We mixed it together and it looks like this. Okay, so it has uh, nitrogen, potash, phosphorus in about 1.5 to 2% which is very bioavailable for the um, plants. And this is non-toxic. It comes from natural sources. Um, and this allows the macroorganisms to act upon them. Another excellent manure uh, for your organic farm to perform best is the compost. Uh, here we have the Varanasi biocompost. And this has NPK based um, organic materials. And also on top of that, what it has is um, different beneficial microorganisms, the funguses, the bacteria, which work symbiotically with the plants and give you the best results. And uh, we basically compost it for 45 days and uh, then it's sieved and packaged and that goes into the farms. And then we have the microbial um, the cultures, which has a consortium of different bacteria, funguses, uh, these microorganisms which assist or symbiotes with the plants and help them take up these nutrients into them. Okay, so they could be nitrogen fixers, potash mobilizers, phosphorus solubilizers, biodegraders, biocontrol agents. All these microorganisms together form the, the, the third layer of interaction. So what we have here is an azospirulum, pseudomonas, we have the bacillus species on the back, and we also have the trichoderma, as, as, aspergillus niger, and all these different things. So here we have isolated these microorganisms over the last 20 to 25 years, and then we amplify this by um, inoculating them in a solid media such as coffee husk. It's sterilized, and then inoculated with these um, amazing things. And that consortium of beneficial microorganisms are later inoculated into our farms. So where they are allowed to grow in the soil and this way um, they help the plants take up the nutrients. We also have something called biocontrol agents. Um, they are something called trichoderma. They are a type of fungus which, has, which fights the pathogens. So in this area we have a root rot disease caused by a pathogen called phytophthora. Now people in chemical farming, they spray poisonous pesticides, which is harmful for humans and the birds and all the animals who live in, the, in that ecosystem. But if we use the trichoderma, which is another microorganism, it fights off, it fends off um, the, uh, the uh, phytophthora. Okay, so the trichoderma is a biocontrol agent. Uh, it stops the spread of diseases. At the same time, it produces indole acetic acid, which is a growth hormone naturally. Um, so it's a win-win situation for the, the plants and for the ecosystem and the environment as well. And they are, uh, we produce them in a very sustainable way here uh, with the, keeping, in, keeping the carbon footprint in mind. Um, you see a lot of um, um, jugard that we do here, but it works perfect. We make sure that there's no contamination coming into the system, into these microorganisms. 
and uh, we've been maintaining this for the past 25 years uh, that we've collected from our own farms and also universities around the world. Um, so with this three layer interaction, we get high performance in organic farm and we do not need to use chemical fertilizers or poisonous pesticides. So this is a really scientific way of um, interacting with your plantation through organic methods and also this delivers high performance. When you have these um, all three levels going on scientifically, your farm organically will perform way better than a chemical farm.